Hi guys, today I'm going to share with you my recipe for apple crisp. I hope you enjoy the following video. Thank you for watching. Okay, so let's get started. I have here a half a cup of flour. And to that I'm going to add three quarters cup firmly packed brown sugar. Plop. In addition, I need a half a cup of rolled oats. Half cup. And one teaspoon of cinnamon nim 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 nim. Not quite full. And oh. cinnamon in. I also need a half a cup of unsalted cold butter. I'm going to cut it into little cubes to make it easier and drop them in. You don't have to, you can leave it as a whole brick. It'll just make it a little bit easier for our next step. They don't have to be super small. You know better. Better, better, better. Butter makes it better. Okay, now we are going to do this next part with our hands. Ooh la la. So we are going to just pinch together the butter, the flour, the oats, the cinnamon nim 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 into the butter. And we just want to make little crumbles. We're just going to continue doing this until it's all crumbled. That's a really big piece of butter. Cut that one down more. I keep my refrigerator super duper cold. I like my stuff's cold. <gasps> I caught that. We're going to continue doing this, and I'll be right back as it's done. Okay, it's just about all crumbled. You can see it's like pea-sized pieces. You want to make sure all the flour, everything, is thoroughly mixed and crumbled into the flour and brown sugar and cinnamon. This is what's going to melt and make a syrupy, crunchy, crumbly texture on top, and that's what we want. I'm going to clean up and we'll be right back with the next step. Now we have our apples. You need six apples. I'm going to go ahead and peel them and cut them, slice them, pour them, the whole nine yards. Set these aside. I have a Cortland apple. It is the best apple for baking any kind of apple dessert really but use whatever apple is your favorite to bake with I've used other apples other than Cortland but this particular dish always turns out best with Cortland's it has a juicier sweeter flavor
once I get it all peeled, pull my dish over. I'm going to go ahead and slice my apple into bite-sized pieces and then I'm going to cube it up from there into actual smaller pieces. So they're a, roughly one bite-sized piece. I also have an apple core. You can use that if you'd rather, but make sure you peel your apple. I mean, if you prefer the peels on, you could use leave the peels on. Peels are edible. They won't hurt you. And that nice, white, beautiful apple flesh. Gorgeous. So I'm going to continue that with my other apples, and I'll be right back. Finishing up cutting the last of the apple. You need to preheat your oven to 375. We got all of our apples peeled, cored, and sliced. You want one tablespoon of water, which I have in here, and one tablespoon of lemon juice. Give them a little mix. And we are just going to sprinkle it back and forth on our apples. Doesn't have to coat all the apples. You don't need to worry about that. Then we are going to take our brown sugar cinnamon mix and sprinkle across the top. We want to spread it out. And we are going to bake this at 375 for 20 to 30 minutes. Make sure the tops of all your apples are coated. Voila. Delicious apple crisp. Gonna put 
this at a 375 oven for 20 to 30 minutes. Okay, so here we are at 20 minutes. It's still a light brown. We need to cook it another 10. And this is our completed apple crisp. I hope you have enjoyed this recipe, and I do hope you try it, because it is delicious. Oh, look at that. Yum. So tender. Look at the apples, just are so tender and delicious. Mm -mm -mm. Ooh, hot. I hope you've enjoyed this recipe. Thank you for watching. Please like, subscribe, and share, and have a great day and a tasty one. Thank you.